Hey, kia ora whanau. How's it going? Well, we're on Monday for today. Um, I'm up here in Auckland, um, teaching tomorrow and uh, just reflecting on our wānanga that we just held. Um, but I just thought I'd just um, get us thinking about relationships and covenants and um, the alike from yesterday's message where we we came to the end of Genesis um, story for us. Uh, we're in chapter chapter nine, and we've seen this progression of uh, the desire by God to be in relationship with Adam and Eve and those who choose to follow Him, and this ongoing cycle of restoration, broken relationships, restoration, broken relationships. Um, I, I talked about yesterday the idea that after the flood God told Noah and his family to go and multiply and be fruitful and um, be part of creation and in so doing God makes a covenant and a promise to creation and to Noah and his families covenant making <clears throat> relationships uh, that's the key thing that God's really about is relationships with people uh, it's interesting to note that when the creation stories and the narratives around that where God spoke to the sea and the fish came to life and when God spoke to the earth the trees and fauna and flora came alive and then he spoke to himself and gave breath to humans. Um, and all those elements, if you take those things, those creatures or uh, the elements in the environment away from their environment, they will die. And so to the desire for humanity is to be in relationship and recovering with God and covenant with him but as soon as we take God out of the picture we die or we're prone to fall and decay and trapped by the cycles of things that are going on in our lives the stories, the traumas and so God's calling his people back into the garden back into the mother where we have covering with him and so our Genesis story covers, it gets to that point where God makes a covenant and a lasting promise that, you know, it's not going to be by flooding that this world is going to be destroyed. It's actually the coming of the King. The trumpet sound. When all of creation is groaning for the King to return and to establish a new heaven and a new earth that's cleansed from sin. Um, thinking about covenant today and what it means for us and we can have political discussions around covenants between nations and treaties and uh, even here in Aotearoa New Zealand we often have conversations around the Tiriti or Waitangi as a covenant. But like all covenants made by man, it's been broken and uh, in our frailness of trying to restore or give a sense of justice, we still do it ourselves. And as long as we take God out of the picture, they're all going to die because they're human efforts. There is a time and it's now and it's always been now that God is calling people back to themselves. And we can either do it our own way or we come back into a covenant relationship with him. We closed off yesterday's service by having communion in the words of Jesus. Taking an old thing, an old feast and bringing new meaning. And as he was breaking the bread and passing the cup of wine around, he said, I now institute a new covenant. 
and we have this idea of substitution where we should die and be judged rightly for our sin and our disobedience and our willingness to turn away from God in Christ Jesus he took it upon his shoulders although he was holy and righteous it was as if he was us and died on that cross and that's where we get this idea of substitution but now in him we are like him through his efforts through his work because of that substitution that atonement that he made for us we now have a new covenant of reconciliation We have a problem in our world of broken relationships, not only with God, but with each other. And if we are sincere and have lives of integrity, we will want to restore those relationships because God has done it with us too. So we're reminded of the covenant maker in the Old Testament and uh, Genesis chapter 9 and throughout the rest of the scriptures, we see this unfolding, renewing, of covenants that God makes with his people and ultimately culminating in the work of Jesus on the cross that he gives us an example of a new covenant we're called to be disciples followers of Jesus not of a religion or a practice but of a king who's risen you want to add the far note who are you following today? The King of Kings or yourself? The organisation or a living being? Laws and regulations or one who wants to set us free? Free from the tyranny of sin, free from the tyranny of the law, but that we're alive today in King Jesus. Well, today, I'm trying to live out one who's in covenant. In covenant with my wife, in covenant with my sons, in covenant with the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, our Heavenly Father through Christ Jesus. What are you doing today? In your neck of woods, in the places that God has given you. Well, in the final, May God bless you and keep you. May his face continually shine upon you. In Jesus' name. Have a great week and uh, we'll catch up with you later. Maybe in the mara. Okay. I go now.